Southern culture was very present in all over but the shouting. The book had a very southern tone to it. Um, Rick Bragg was from Alabama, a small town in Alabama. And like many small towns um, in the South, high school football or football period was everything. Um, Friday nights, Rick Bragg could be found in the high school football stands under the lights. He became a sports journalist and had his own column. And his mother would cut out his journal entries and scrapbook them. He noted that in football, a poor boy was just as good as a rich one, just as long as he could knock the tailback's front teeth out. And I thought that was a very funny quote. Um, I myself couldn't get into football, but I know that it's a big part of the South. Go dogs. Um, Food was also... um, a part of a, a great part of Southern culture. He, in the very beginning of the book, he told of a time where he and his siblings and his mother didn't have food and his mother would work extremely hard to provide for them. And the black family down the road, even though they were seen as um, less than, you know, Rick and his family, they still shared their food with them. and They brought them fresh corn. And um, you could take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy. When Rick did move away, uh, he noted that he was still eating takeout chicken and biscuits on the couch. So chicken and biscuits is quite Southern. Um, Church was also a big aspect. Um, He noted that only the religion held and God hung in there like a rushy fish hook. He grew up in a house where there were only two books, and one of which was the King James Version Bible. I connected with the text because, like Bragg, I too am from a small country town, the Good Life City, that is Albany, Georgia. I can relate to the Southern culture of the um, book, the close connection to family, the importance of church, and the fun that is football although I myself am not a fan of the sport. I can also relate to Bragg's love for journalism and for writing and reading. Although he grew up in a home with only two books, his father did give him um, books because he said that his his mother told his father that he loved to read. So I can relate to that. Reading has always been a passion of mine and writing is definitely a passion of mine. Um, Unfortunately, I can also relate to the race relations of the time um, and of the country town of Alabama. Um, Pictured in the top right corner of the slide is Dr. Martin Luther King in Albany, Georgia, leading a nonviolent movement protesting social injustices. Unfortunately, Albany, Georgia went down in history as the movement that Dr. King did not win. The civil rights movement in Albany was the only one of Dr. King's career that is said to have been unsuccessful, completely unsuccessful. Although we have made strides, um, Albany is still in the process of overcoming racism, segregation, and moving toward becoming a better community. There are ways that I connected with all over but the shouting, but I mean, I really couldn't relate to Bragg's experience of growing up with an alcoholic part-time father, so I kind of disconnected with that part of the book. Um, My father is one of my greatest supporters and one of my greatest inspirations in life, so I cannot relate to not having a strong male father figure in my life. Um, Like Bragg's mother, my mom has worked really hard um, and she's worked hard to make sure that we had, um, a great life. Um, and Bragg's mom was really, really a hard worker and she really was unselfish in, in providing for her kids, but she did not have the help and the support from his father that my mother has. My father's never abandoned us. My father isn't an alcoholic. Um, so I I really couldn't, I just can't relate to that. Um, anytime that he brought up 
the struggles and the poverty that they endured as a re direct result of his father's absence and alcoholism. I felt awful and I tried to put myself in his shoes, but I really could only show sympathy because I grew up in a middle class, close knit, tight family and my heart ached for Bragg and his family. And I'm glad that he was able to overcome the odds that were set out against him. And I believe that this helps me um, realize that um, a lot of the times I won't be able to relate to the struggles that my students may endure or may be going through, but I will always be there for them. My heart will always um, be with them and I will try my best to help them out of any compromising or awful situations. Um, so, yeah.